My name is Austin Bell. I'm a graduate research assistant at the University of Minnesota, and this is a hands-on activity demonstration of gravitational settling and Brownian motion. I developed this activity along with Tom Peters at the University of Iowa and Peter Rayner at the University of Minnesota. For this activity, you will need a tape measure, tape, cotton balls, something to time with, cold water, hot water, two clear beakers, and food dye. An electric teapot works well for heating water. Clear glasses or plastic cups could be used instead of clear beakers. Dark colors like blue or red work best for the food dye. You also have the option of using a thermometer, but it is not necessary for this activity. The first part of this activity looks at gravitational settling. Using a tape measure, learners should measure 2 meters high on the wall. Learners should then put a piece of tape at this point on the wall. Learners should pull a piece of cotton apart so that it is mostly independent fibers. After the cotton pieces have been pulled apart, learners should then measure the amount of time it takes for the cotton to settle from the mark on the wall to the floor, which is a 2 meter distance. Learners can then calculate the settling velocity of the cotton in meters per second using the equation velocity equals distance over time. Using this equation, if a piece of cotton fell 2 meters in 4 seconds, then the settling velocity would be 0 0.50 meters per second. After the settling velocity has been calculated, learners can then relate the settling velocity of the piece of cotton to a silica particle with the same settling velocity, using the following table. With our cotton settling velocity of 0 0.50 meters per second from the last step, we can go down the column titled Terminal Settling Velocity and find 0 0.50 meters per second, which corresponds to a silica particle diameter of 100 micrometers. Therefore, since our settling velocity was 0 0.50 meters per second, it would have the same settling velocity of a 100 micrometer silica particle. If you have enough extra time, you can ask your students to sketch the forces that act on the particle as it settles in the air. The end result should look something like this, with gravity pulling down on the particle while buoyancy and drag keep it afloat. Another important question is whether the piece of cotton would fall faster or slower if it were wadded up in a ball instead of being spread out. Using the diagram, you can see that it would fall faster because it would experience less drag force. The second part of this activity deals with Brownian motion. Prior to starting the activity, be sure to prepare enough hot and cold water for the entire class to work in groups. Each group should have two containers, one with hot water and the other with cold water. This is where you have the option of measuring the temperature of the water in each glass. Let the water stand until it has become completely still for at least two minutes. After the water has become completely still, dispense one or two drops of food dye into each glass at the same time. Learners should then observe the motion of the food dye in each glass. You can see here that the warmer water spreads out more throughout the glass and at a much faster rate. This can be further illustrated using the equation x rms equals the square root of 2 times d times t, where t is time and d is the diffusion constant. Both observations take place in the same amount of time, so the only difference in distance moved is the diffusion constant d. Diffusion of particles through air using the equation below can also be used to get a sense of the dynamics at play. The formula reads as d equals k times t times cc over 3 pi times mu times d, where k equals the Boltzmann's constant, t equals temperature of water, cc equals the Cunningham correction factor, mu equals the viscosity of fluid, and d equals the particle diameter. Since temperature is in the numerator, when it rises, diffusion increases. Conversely, if temperature were to decrease, the amount of diffusion would decrease as well. The third and last section of this activity compares Brownian motion to gravitational settling. 
This table shows the diffusion constant, the displacement due to Brownian motion in one minute, the terminal settling velocity due to gravity, and the distance fallen in one minute under gravity for airborne silica particles ranging from 0 0.001 to 100 micrometers in diameter. Have learners calculate the ratio between Brownian displacement and the distance settled due to gravity for each particle diameter. This can be achieved by dividing the Brownian displacement in one minute by the distance fallen in one minute. For example, for 0 0.001 micrometer particles, the Brownian displacement in one minute is 0 0.022 meters, and the distance fallen in one minute is 0 0.00000050 meters. Therefore, the Brownian motion to gravitational settling ratio is equal to 44,000. If you complete the ratios for the rest of the silica particle diameters in this table, you can see that when the ratio is greater than 1, Brownian motion dominates, and when the ratio is less than 1, gravitational settling dominates. Thus, Brownian motion dominates for particles 1, 10, and 100 nanometers in diameter, whereas gravitational settling dominates for particles 1, 10, and 100 micrometers in diameter. Hopefully this video made the instructions for this activity a little clearer. Thank you very much for watching. This lesson has been created by the Midwest Emerging Technologies Public Health and Safety Training Program, otherwise known as METFAST, which is a collaboration between the University of Minnesota School of Public Health, the University of Iowa College of Public Health, and Dakota County Technical College. The content of this lesson is solely the responsibility of the developers and does not necessarily represent the official views of the National Institutes of Health.